Sahabi looked at it carefully and he said, This looks like Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but it's not exactly the picture of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, yes. Now I can say that you are saying the truth. Because this is the picture of Ibrahim alayhi salam according to our books. Another picture. Do you know this one? No. This is Ismail alayhi salam. He takes out another picture. And the Sahabi just jumped and started crying that this is exactly the way Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam looks. Qaisar says, I know that he is a true messenger of Allah. I will try my best that to convince my people to accept Islam. And then the hadith is in Sahih al-Bukhari, you know that he tried. First thing he went out and he told people that this letter is from a prophet of Allah. And they all started shouting at him. Later on, he went and he sat in a room on a high, the, the, high, the, the top floor and the, that had only one window. And he's looking out of the window and he locked all the doors of the castle. He had the army and all these important people around him. And... Then he said to them, I received a letter and he started talking about Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and how he got a message and I believe that he is a true messenger of Allah. As soon as he said that, they rejected everything and they started running to the doors and the doors were locked. They couldn't run out. This hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari. Then he called them. He said, come back, come back. I just wanted to see how strong you people are on your team. Now I'm sure that you are strong, so I have no worries. So they all did sujood for him. So he did not become Muslim. He gave preference to this dunya and the status of the dunya over akhirah. And of course, he lost his akhirah. He lost the akhirah. And he made his people also lose the akhirah. Now, here we see from only the small portion of the seerah that I have mentioned briefly, how people who are accepted the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the message of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who accepted Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who accepted the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, how they benefited. And people who just respected him without accepting his message, they benefited only in this dunya, but they lost the akhirah. People who respected him and they believed in him, that they both, they got the dunya and akhirah. They didn't lose neither of the ones. They didn't lose the dunya. It's not that because of akhirah they lost dunya. They got the best of the dunya and they got the best of akhirah. Subhanallah, one day, Sayyidina Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, he was cleaning his nose with one of the most expensive material that they had in those days. And then he's telling people around him, he says, there was a time when I used to be around Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, spend days not have even a glass of milk. Days and not even one glass of milk. And here is a time that I am using the most expensive cloth just to clean my nose. They got the best of the dunya and akhirah. Allah gave them everything. If we really need that rahmah of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, if we need that barakah, the whole rahmah and barakah would come only by accepting Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his teachings and his sunnah. And as much as we keep ourselves and our children away from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's teachings, away from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's sunnahs and his uh, the, the knowledge that he left behind for us and the deen that he left behind for us, this is how much we are depriving our children, our families and our children from the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a very clear thing that we see through our desirah, through our history. That the rahmah of Allah would come only by adopting the sunnahs of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. By adopting the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. By accepting the message and the teachings of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Today, our lives are totally empty. 
we are doing so much, so much. But still, zulumat all around us. A mu'min is living somewhere. If he's been there for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, believe me, we go into the neighborhood, you feel that you see the zulumat, darknesses all around. There is zulumat, kifr, kufr, there is kufr everywhere. There is shirk everywhere. This Muslim is living there for 20 years. And he could not take over these zulumat. He could not help people around him to have the nur, to see the nur of iman, to see the nur of the hidayah. In fact, even within our own homes, we see this muharramat, things that are forbidden in the name of Allah. Day and night, our children listening to music, our children watching movies. Over the weekends, how do we enjoy our souls? Let's just do one of these things. And let's go out. Going out in for what? Total, the deen is totally out of picture. We never enjoy sitting together and reciting Quran. We never enjoy sitting together and learning the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We never enjoy sitting together and sending blessings on Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sending through the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. These things are just out of our lives. And this is why the Rahmah is away. Mumar sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ila rahmatan lil alameen. That is the rahmah and we are keeping the rahmah away. People made that mistake at the time when he was born. Halima radiallahu anha took that rahmah. All the other people were deprived. Then people of Mecca had them with him. Had, had, had them with them. We had Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with them in Mecca. But they forced him out of the town. They deprived themselves of all, of all the rahmah. And people of Medina took all of it. They took all the rahmah to their home. And subhanAllah, what a blessing of Allah, what a great gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Abu Ayyub al-Ansari radiyallahu anhu. That Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam arrives in Medina Manawara and he stays at Abu Ayyub al-Ansari radiyallahu anhu. SubhanAllah. What could be a greater gift than this? How did Abu Ayyub Ansari radiallahu anhu get this great gift? It has been rated, recorded in the books of the Seerah, that there was a Jewish person, very learned, he knew the Torah very well. When he wrote, when, when he read the description of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Torah, and of course, Torah and Injil, they had detailed description of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and a lot of verses that talked about the importance of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the importance of this ummah. In Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Muhammadur Rasulullah, in Surah Al-Fatih. وَالَّذِينَ مَعْهُ أَشِدَّاءُ عَلَى الْكُفَّارِ رُحَمَاءُ بَيْنَهُمْ Description of Sahaba Ridwan Allah عليه وجمعين تَرَاهُمْ رُكْعًا سَجَّدًا You see them in Rukur, you see them in Sajood. Subhanallah, you walk into the house, what is he doing? He's performing Salah. Just wait for a few minutes, he's going to finish his Salah. Today, did it ever happen that we go to someone's house and we say, then he doesn't tell us, or he's praying, he's performing some Nawafil, maybe the Fard at home. But here, تَرَاهُمْ رُكْعًا سُجَّدًا You see them in the Rukhu and Sujood. What are they doing? يَبْتَغُونَ فَضْلًا مِّنَ اللَّهِ وَرِضْوَانًا They're always seeking Allah's blessings and His mercy. When was the last time we thought, I'm really searching and looking for فَضْلًا مِّنَ اللَّهِ وَرِضْوَانًا Allah's pleasure. For the pleasure of Allah, I'm looking for the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That we were working and working and we are getting ourselves tired and my hands are tired and my feet are hurting me now and my knees are really in pain. But I'm still trying to get up once more and do one more sajda, one more raka, so that Allah be pleased with me. Yes, we got ourselves tired when we were working. Let me do this once more. Let me work for half an hour more. Let me do some... Uh, some extra time, over time, so I get paid more and I can do it better. All of this. Let me go and get my car washed. It's about 15 minutes away. Okay, that's fine, you know. I will go for a drive, 15 minutes. It goes 15 minutes for a car wash. SubhanAllah, doesn't pray two rakahs, a lot to clean.